So maybe you are wondering what's up with all the underscores. Uh, I should make this pretty clear. ArcGIS is getting a lot better at this, but they haven't worked out all the kinks. Um, there are still many tools, I'd say less than 50%, but still many tools that won't handle any kind of a path or a file name that has a space in it. So GISers um, over time have gotten very accustomed to replacing spaces with underscores. Uh, other special characters like dashes, slashes, uh, periods, exclamation points, starting files or folders with numbers, these are all taboo. Um, so you'll always see me uh, using underscores in places of spaces in my uh, data files, and that's why. All right, so we have got our data set up in this advanced GIS folder. In ARC, if I go to Add Data, um, it, ARC can't automatically see the contents of your computer. It can't see your file tree. And so it, it has you connect to folders and establish folder connections, which can be edited in Catalog, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Right now, the only um, folder that I have access to is the C drive, and then these kind of subfolders on it. But I want to access something that's on my external hard drive. So I'm going to have to connect to folder, which is over here, and it brings up basically my file tree, which it can see here, but refuses to look at um, otherwise. So it's a little temperamental. Um, the file that I want to work on is, well, it's in fact on my desktop, so that's a little uh, silly migrate GIS stuff. If I look inside here, I could connect to, oh, hello, I want advanced GIS, this one. I could connect to lab one, and I'll do that just for kicks. And you can see inside, now I have access to my data folder, and I have access to my working data folder, um, and that's fine. I could add data this way, but next time I come in here, I'm going to have to make a folder connection to lab two, and I'm going to have to go through this process every week. So my recommendation would be, when you set up a folder connection, go to your parent folder, so I've highlighted advanced GIS. Within it, I'll have access to lab one, lab two, etc. But if I just uh, connect to that parent folder, then I'll always be able to see. So I might have to take a couple extra double clicks on this end, but I find that that's a lot more efficient than having to connect to folders every single week. Um, I hope that makes sense. And um, that's it for this one. Oh, I was going to show you how to clean them up. So in catalog, uh, here are your folder connections. It's usually a lot more organized than this. Your folder connections are here. Um, let's just say I want to get rid of those two folder connections I just made. You just select them and right click. Disconnect folder, disconnect folder. It's just a way to keep things nice and clean. Um, I don't know why you can't do that in the connect folder window, but you have to do it in this little catalog shortcut. All right, that's it. Questions, let me know. Thanks.